Over the past several years, there have been many accusations directed at Mother Teresa, majority of which stemmed from author Christopher Hitchens documentary, Hell's Angel, and his book, The Missionary Position. Not only have these accusations been heavily misunderstood, but they have been taken as literal facts. It was stated that Mother Teresa withheld painkillers because she believed suffering brought the people closer to Jesus. This false claim originated from Christopher presenting an article that was published by Dr. Robin Fox. So Dr. Fox actually noted that there was a lack of strong analgesics and that Mother Teresa ran hospices with nuns who were not medically trained, with some doctors only visiting twice a week. People fail to realize that the sisters served in a hospice for the homeless and not a hospital. The sisters knew that if a person needed proper medical treatment, they would admit them to the hospital. Add to the fact that palliative medicine was very limited in India back then. Even palliative training for medical professionals only appeared in the 90s. Not to mention, Sister Mary Pirick, who worked closely with Mother Teresa, stated that Mother Teresa would do everything to alleviate people's suffering. Another popular accusation was that Mother Teresa would treat her patients like filth but personally use world-class treatments. Again, not true. According to Dr. Patricia, a physician who traveled with the saints several times, said Mother Teresa was the worst patient she ever had as she would always refuse to go to the hospital. She was often admitted to hospitals against her own will. Many doctors even voluntarily offered to treat her several times. Even the former Indian Prime Minister offered to pay for her treatment anywhere in the world. But so strong was her dislike for expensive hospitals that she would try escaping. Not a lot of people talk about this, but before she became famous, she would ride in the poorest compartments of India's trains to serve the poor. Another accusation states that Mother Teresa received millions in donations and gave a large sum of it to the Vatican. There is literally no evidence of this. Also, people fail to realize that the missionaries of charity did not just have a hospice for the homeless, but also ran centers for orphanages, schools, lepers, and even people with AIDS. These services they provided to all people, regardless of religion or status. The donations they received were used for these purposes. There are a couple other claims about her being a supposed evil person, but are all just rooted out of lies assaulting her character. Mother Teresa was always upfront about her mission to provide love and care for the less fortunate. She has been a poor victim of media propaganda by the very people who can't even do half of what she has done.